markings. I really like this, but it's vintage Chadovia. There's none sold in this pattern. There are a few available. This looks like Blue Mountain Pottery, but the red version. <laughs> it's another language. It looks like it's made in Turkey. Oh, it's like Turkey? Tur oh, yeah, it could be Turkey. Turkey. Oh. Cool. Oh, yeah. You found Nemo! Let's see It's dollars. That's a big Nemo. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if we could put him in the candy store. <laughs> oh, he's got dirty eyeballs, though. Dirty eyes. Crusty. Crusty. I need to clean your eyes. <laughs> Where's your mom? This is nice. Someone saying hi. Hi. Two pieces. Um, where's the other piece? I see one piece. Can I nice, but it's only one. These are cute. Thank you. 
Got rid of it, didn't you? Didn't you? one but I literally cannot read that. Uh, I don't know. $10. I don't I don't know what it is, but I like the inside. What size is it? Sometimes I just like buy things from my boyfriend and then I figure out what it is and maybe I'll sell it on him. Hmm. Alright, I figured it out. It's Robert Graham. I, yeah. Don't ask me how I did it. But here's another one. Two. Two for 20. Hope some sold comps. Ooh, vintage colors by Oliver Andrew. I have a duck one. This brand for sale right now. I like this color. But it's crazy. Wow. 
people in this town do not wear t-shirts. This is like an area where older people live. So. And it looks like there's like nothing here. <laughs> It's a mosaic tile? No. What is that? Oh, I recognize that. <laughs> I totally had that set. Made in Mexico. today. <laughs> How many times I heard that when there's no price on something at our store. Weird. What is that? That is terrifying. in the tooth. Well, I definitely couldn't make that myself. But it's a little, a little scary. There's another one. Mexico. With a price. Yes. Totally had this as a kid. Oh, where's the lid? Missing a little lid for that part. Hopefully. Oh well. Probably. Aww. All right. My mom doesn't want to be on camera, so there's her feet. <laughs> but she just found this tablecloth, and it's got mushrooms. Got a little mushroom ring in the middle. Good score, mom. No. Ooh, So today's haul is going to be short and sweet. I had an appointment today in a town about 35 minutes away so I thought I would do just a couple thrift shops before so I didn't find too much but I included a few things that I found last week but I didn't actually film so I'll just do the haul all in one go. Alright so the wind just decided to pick up right now. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't affect the sound. Okay, so today I did three shops. No stuffies for you, baby. Um, and I just grabbed, I got like two shirts, and then I got a pure wool vest, 
tablecloth my mom found, this uh, deviled egg plate, and this cutie. I just could not leave this behind. I don't know why. It's so freaking cute. I don't know if I can sell it until like the spring or maybe like Christmas, but $9.99, not a single chip. This part can um, come off or you can change it or whatever. But it's so cute and you just don't find quality like this anymore. There's no markings or anything, but I don't know. I couldn't leave it behind. Um, so these are like the two shirts. I couldn't figure out the name, but it's Robert Graham. So I ended up finding a purple one as well. So maybe I'll just bundle them, sell them together because they are the same size. Um, I also found this like vintage Oscar de la Renta pure virgin wool vest. Definitely don't like see people wearing these these kinds of things around here, but they seem to be popular on eBay, so probably ship it off somewhere else in the world. And then you saw this deviled egg plate has like some maple leaves with like teal or turquoisey color and gold, four ninety nine. I thought that was really pretty, so I picked that up. And then you saw the uh, tablecloth that my mom found. She's like, hey, check this out. And I wasn't expecting it, but mushrooms. So I still have to like look it up, but I don't know. I just bought it anyways. It was $6.99. Uh, and then I also got this. It's like a tea light wax warmer, but it has the Hawaiian like plumeria or however you say that. $6.99 and I just couldn't leave it behind. No chips, perfect condition. I it's probably not vintage. I don't know if they had these kinds of things around back then, but still a beauty piece. And then the rest was from last week. Um, I went thrifting with my friend and I think we did like four shops and I only got stuff at like one place and that was all these plush. So I got these dinosaurs, Aurora brand. I couldn't figure out where Aurora was coming from because I see it everywhere. And then I was at like the grocery store the other day and realized that Aurora is the brand that is in like the floral department for the stuffies if you want to like add on to your like gift or whatever so I got these two dinos um, I found a Squirtle I never find Pokemon so that was kind of cool a little expensive but still make some and that will like go really fast so I put it on marketplace or Facebook uh, Kalu this is the second time I found this Kalu brand um, there's a bunch of versions of this one, and they seem to sell all right. So this one just needs a little clean. Um, that's not the tag. How much was this guy? This one was three ninety nine. And then I found Peter Rabbit, Build a Bear, but it also has like the Peter Rabbit jacket. So I don't really recommend like too many Build a Bear unless you can find. Like a branded one like this with the branded clothes then it'll do better but the Build-A-Bear brand is like super oversaturated and not a ton of demand unless you find like a rare one um, this one I forget its name I use like the Google lens to look it up but I still don't remember uh, this one is I found this brand once before uh, 24k 24 carat mm polar puff 1990 and it's a squirrel I honestly love doing this because I like get to relive my childhood and like find toys that I used to have or just like buy new ones and I just feel like a kid all over again uh, this tigger I think the tail I found like a string here and I think the tail was supposed to be like sewn to it but 
I pulled it out. It's still kind of cute though. It's like curly. And it has a tag still. So yeah. This one. Don't remember its name again. Um, this one I looked up. And apparently it's supposed to be a deep fried pork top. <laughs> I guess like the... Um, kind of like katsu, I guess, would be the food it's supposed to look like, but with the tag still, uh, I don't even want to try and pronounce that because I'll just butcher it. Yeah, I thought it was so cute. So these kinds of things, um, I might try selling them on Marketplace or eBay, and then... Uh, if I have like a flea market, maybe I'll put some in there. And then I also do sell a lot of stuffed animals to my family's candy store. So I mark them up a bit and then of course they mark them up even more, but they can charge more because they're a store. Um, as long as they like, they look good and they have like tags or, or they're retro and kind of fit like the candy store theme. And then this is the last one is Woody Woodpecker Backpack. So it's got like a little zipper and it sits on like a kid's shoulder. So it's kind of like looking over the kid's shoulder. Here. There we go, zoom out a bit. So yeah, this one was like $2.99 at um, a value village. Um, it does have a name on the tag, which might hurt the value a little bit, but for three bucks. I thought it was a good find. What's that wind again? Alright, I think this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Something like this. <gasps> What's up, bud? Alright, sit. Sit. No, you're not gonna listen? Alright, shake a paw. Oh, sloppy kisses. Okay. See you on the next one.